Fino Habitat Society's mandate is basically to offer temporary housing to uh, workers in the Estawista Peninsula. And it's also to foster a sense of community. People have a fear of the uh, economy collapsing, whether that's a real fear or just a irrational fear. It's in the zeitgeist of modern society that everything's gonna collapse. Yeah. If you put on CNN, it's just fear, fear, fear. Fox News, it's even 10 times worse. So people have this irrational fear of the economy collapsing. So they want to be ready for that. These are literally political refugees of our economy. This one is actually a communal space. So you can have a look. It's called the Magic Bus. This is one of the original. Hello. It's got a huge history. People will come back here from all over the world and come to this bus. Uh, they used to do naked spaghetti parties, apparently. Uh, I wasn't around for those, but there's all kinds of writing that's been kind of painted over. But one of my favorites is right above you when you wake up in the morning, it says the magic on the bus is you. So this is an example of a tiny home that's legal because you can't have permanent structures. So this is built on a trailer bed and it has a wood stove in it and you can live in there for $50 a month. You can actually make a living in Tofino yep. at working at a job like washing dishes. You can save money. The average age would be 21 to 28. Um, you do get people of all ages here though. We do deal with a lot of people that, we, that are really difficult to deal with because it is the end of the road and they hear they can just come here and stay. So we have to deal with a lot of people with mental illness. We have to deal with a lot of people with addiction issues, trying to get away from the cities. We aren't a shelter and we aren't an addiction center. So what we can offer is a nice quiet space to put up a tent for $50 a month. I, in my past, I've had definite like issues with uh, substances and whatever. This place was definitely a place I went to to get away from all that. So I actually feel like I, this place, I kind of owe my life to it in some ways and maybe quite literally. We, you just never know where you would have gone in life, right? This place is like a place I could go to, get away from the inner city, get away from, uh, you know, and just sort of, uh, and we all know now, addiction is based, is, is, you know, it's very much related to your environment, right? So this place changed all that. I, I, I don't feel like I even have an addictive personality anymore. I quit smoking, I don't do anything anymore. I don't even drink. So, but I owe it to this land, I really do. And I think a lot of people do too, owe a lot to this land. Whether it be their first footsteps into Tofino where they now have, you know, jobs, lives, families. I know lots of people who have kids that came off this land and families all over the place. And it's that for a lot of other people too. And that's what we want it to be. Yeah. So that's us giving back to what it done for us. So.